do with Lance, so we're going to crack on and he's going to show us what so to do. Down. Right then. Uh, broke down from the sword we did last time. Yep. Uh, we'll cut these breasts off. Cool. Uh, roll one of the breasts and then we'll do some fancy stuff with the loins. Yep. Uh, roll this. Yep. Make that fancy. And that's how you roll shoulders. Are. Cool. Alright. So, what have you got there? This is just you, well, be your hip. Yeah, yeah. Chunk them out. So, that's off of the leg. Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the yeah it's time. just right off that side. Yeah. And then this is mainly famed for lamb steaks. Yeah. So, just get one quickly boned off. Cool. So, is this one of the more fiddly things to do, or is this fairly simple? It's fairly simple. It looks fiddly, more fiddly than it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's getting most of the meat off the bone. Or all the meat off the bone, yeah. should I say. So, uh, one thing I was going to ask you before was uh, you know that you're left handed, when you're doing a certain side of the animal, does it aff is it easier to do a certain side with a certain hand, if you get what I mean? Uh, or no difference? I, I think at first it did. Yeah. But I think that was just mentality, really. Yeah. But as I've got older, I've got used to... The same, basically. Yeah, they come as they are. Yeah. And just cut them. And then just and trim off. Just take the, the fat off. You had a busy day this week? Yeah, it's not been too bad. What yeah, have they been after this week? Beef, lamb, pork? A bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, they, f they favour chicken a lot, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's just these yeah, that, days. That's a staple thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, as the weekend comes up, it's, we had a, a bit of a pork and lamb week just gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there'll be a beef week. It, it, it just varies week yeah, to week. it varies week to week. Everybody fancies something, something different. This is what we call a saddle. Yeah. A saddle of lamb. It's that bit of them two. Yeah. Where you fill it is. Yeah. But it's just, it's cut down. But we're going to take the fillet just out. Cool. I'm not going to cut them off. I'm going to take the whole bone out. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to stuff it and roll it. Oh, that sounds All nice. Right. So, just keep going down real gentle. Just exposing the bone. Keeping all the meat off. So is that the spine then? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just keep going down. Fins have come out. This is fiddly. <laughs> <laughs> Bet it tastes good. Yeah. Of course it does. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> my lamb. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're, the last three weeks have been coming out nice, haven't they? Oh, they've been coming out absolutely cracking. They really have. With this, you just keep as close as you can to the bone. Yes. Yeah. You're going through the, well, right next to the eye of the meat there. So you don't want to stick your mouth through that too much. Or if at all. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, just keep going. It's best to go a bit at a time and then mm. get it so it's even. Just got it down just to the back. Yeah. And I'll go around the other side and I'll uh, meet in the middle at the bottom. Yeah. So, for um, anyone wondering, this is our lamp apart from this part we're doing now. This is off the other lamp, but everything else here today is off, um, off clean lambs. So, native bred, well, Welsh lamb, but in England. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, it's a bit fiddly, but as long as you just keep keep to the bone. And the 
phone's come out clean. I'm happy. Then all the meat's gone. Yep. Keeps grandad happy. <laughs> With it now, it's more just showing you what can be done with your lamb. Yeah, there's all sorts. Like what you're showing now is probably well, not a million, but hundreds of ways of doing things. Oh, just good, to yeah. There is. There, there's more than this way. Um, but it's just I thought. Well, if we show show people this, and then they can get an idea of how it's done. How it's done. Yeah, different yeah. sorts. Yeah. And if anyone's tried this before, they could come down and have a taste yep. of what it's like. They can come and try it at any time. So you tend to do a few different things every week in the shop, don't you? Yes, we do. Um, I mean, the favourites are the minty lamb burgers, as uh, you know. Yeah, we spoke about them last time, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's always... Um, Lamb steaks and mm. marinades. There's the beef. We do uh, do them in some marinades. Yeah. There's a bit of pork. There's chicken. And uh, yeah, the, it's those um, breakfasts or what did you call them? I oh, tried the one. <laughs> the breakfast barrels. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. So I'll explain just exactly what they were there. Right. Um, your breakfast barrel. Is a uh, hog roast sausage meat, um, just basically a barrel, made into yeah. a barrel of yeah, yeah. Uh, We we put black pudding on the top mm. and put streaky bacon yeah, just yeah. round it, and it just holds it all together. Yeah, that was really nice last time. Was it? You like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah and that uh, we tried some um, <laughs> to do. Uh, oh, what's it called? Lamb bacon. Yeah. That was a bit different. Yeah, that was. I don't think we'll be trying that in Orient. <laughs> no, no, no. No, so um, we, I'd seen on um, another sheep farmer's Instagram that they've been doing um, lamb bacon, and we, so we tried it out. But uh, I'll put it this way uh, you, might, you need new teeth after it. <laughs> yeah. Makes you chew a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Good for the jaw. Yeah. Right then, so that's off. Cool, so that's the spine out. Yep. And of what we got left meat. there. You've got your two lovely little fillets. And there, we'll take a bit of fat off there. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll, uh, we'll stuff them. Cool. So, just a little bit of fat. Just don't want too much on them. No, no, no. They're fairly good in general with the cleans, aren't they? They're not yeah, too bad. Yeah, they they're, they're lovely. They're, they're not over fat. And you can take them to a bit heavier weight. Yeah. <laughs> get away with them, one night. Yeah, you can. Not um, having to go at Suffolk, but I wouldn't want to take Suffolk to the weight we take these. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. And for anyone wondering, Suffolk's are a big native breed, which are fairly fatty, even at lower weights. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's that. Now, we've got a bit of stuff in behind. Of course, that I made earlier. Ready, said they cook star, yep. or whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll, uh, I'll mould it out. It's just a basic sage and onion stuffing. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anybody that wants to try this, they fancy different stuffing. If they bring us some in, I'll soon put it in. Because with stuffing, we have to mix it cold. Yeah, yeah. Because um, not the normal stuffing, you put it in hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, raw meat. Yeah. Hot food doesn't mix. It, it doesn't go well. It doesn't do any favours. So we mix it cold, and then. Uh, it yeah, 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 so. yeah. It's the art of stuffing it, but not putting too much. Too much in. I know what you mean. You can them with not enough and too much. It's yeah. like that perfect amount. Because <clears throat> the other thing is, if you um, if you're 
if you do over stuff it, it just ends up coming out like yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's no good. So one thing I was um, gonna bring up, so have you had many Herdwicks in recently? <laughs> no, no we haven't. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, Ash's granddad um, has Herdwicks. Yeah. <laughs> there is uh, his favourite. Pride and joy. Yeah, there is babies really, they pets more than anything. Uh, but no, it takes a long time to finish them. <laughs> a long time. What do you mean by that? Years, months, <laughs> decades. <laughs> a lot longer than yours do. Let's, let's put it that way. Right then. So now that's in. Roll that round. That one looks really nice. Yeah. There we go. Get the string again. We were just on and that, weren't we? Yeah. No, I was asking Ash um, how much it costs. I can't believe how much the string costs. Yeah. What was it for 10 again? Well, it's, it's about 10 pound a roll. Yeah, it's mad. Just for string. Oh, only the best. That's it. That's why everyone comes here around here. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, there's some things you've got to buy on the ball, if you know what yeah. I mean. Sometimes quality comes way over price. If it does the job properly, it's better than doing it half a job. Yeah. And saving a, f a quarter of the money or whatever it is. Well, yeah, because half the string it snaps yeah yeah well that's not ideal <laughs> then you're using twice as much as what you would normally mm. so it's, it's not saving you any money really no not on using is uh, mm. just a bunch of slip knot cool so how's that done if we could do that slowly do you need one okay, more on do that? you slow on the last one okay cool And bearing in mind I'm left handed yeah, as well, so, so it's back go backwards. over, yeah. under, yeah. through, yeah. through, yeah. close it up, yeah. tie it off, yeah. then just pull. Pull it so it will tighten up and then just put a finishing tie in. There you go. Cool. And oh, I have really nice. too much. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That'll uh, show exactly what it looks like. Yeah. So there you go. 